Like so many wartime memories, it was hidden away for decades. Now, a World War I soldier's diary is inspiring his loved ones to travel back in time. They'll visit the French villages where he served, and as Bill Hudson explains, perform the same ringing tribute to Armistice Day 100 years later. Old Glory rises above Victory Memorial Drive, the county's tribute to soldiers killed in World War One. You know, he never talked about it. Leonard Whelan was among the lucky, quietly returning from war to start a family, never dwelling on his time in France. And in the closet hung the uniform, and the hats were there, and also with the gas mask. This uniform was the lone link to his service, until two years ago when Leonard's wartime diary appeared. My brother had it and mentioned it. It surprised me and I told him to bring it with him on his next visit. It was like buried treasure, the scrawled entries of army training, close calls, and finally celebration. November 11th, 1918, at Jocelyn, France, armistice signed. It was war's end, as journaled by a Minnesota farm boy. And when I read that, I just thought, I need to be there. I need to see what he saw. Uh, I want to ring those bells. Now, a full century later, Leonard's family will return to visit those same French villages. It has opened up for us such a personal connect connection to him, to who he was. But the trip will be so much more than just retracing steps. The French have asked the family to lay a wreath to commemorate the lives lost. Nine million soldiers died in the war. It's a sobering reminder of human sacrifice. So I think I'll have that same feeling when I lay this wreath. And it's a great honor. I'm looking forward to it. Lessons in world history unlocked by a soldier's little book. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. And Lender's 95-year-old daughter will donate his uniform to a French military museum, and she hopes to ring the same church bells her father did when the armistice was signed.